you can support this cause by going over to Patreon and putting a tip in the jar. Thank you so much for everybody that's wanted to support. Now you can. Very nice. You like it? I do. Yeah. I love it. You do? I do. Do you think you'll be able to live on a sailboat? I think so. Hey guys, welcome back to the Paper Boat Project. I am still in South Africa, yes I am. It's been quite a while, but since I decided to start the Paper Boat Project, I decided to start the first series in my home country. I'm currently at my mom and dad's house still, and it's been amazing to have a hot shower, a nice big bed, and to sometimes get fed. So <laughs> thanks mom and dad. Today is gonna be an amazing day. One of my lifelong dreams and... Guys, when we go out, you guys are gonna swim with the sharks and he's gonna rescue you if anything happens, Woo! okay? <laughs> <laughs> so before I jump into it, I have to send my condolences to one of the best Royal Yacht Association teachers that ever existed. I was supposed to do my Yacht Master Ocean Qualification, which is the one above the offshore one I did. And that's why I'm kind of still in South Africa. I was scheduled for this week coming and I just heard that the instructor just died. So for those of you who know I'm talking about, I don't want to mention his name online. Um, all my condolences to your family, your friends, your kids. We lost a very big name in the sailing community and I'm really sad for that. And I hope that the sale today, we, um, we honor your name. So I studied a psychology degree at the University of Pretoria in South Africa and I was working with mentally disabled kids towards the end of my qualification and I absolutely fell in love with working with mentally disabled people. The smiles, the purity of heart, the uncomplicated mindsets and just such an amazing feeling it gave me and I, I mean we all have different things that we like in life and I just fell in love with that. So seeing that the Paper Boat Project is all about creating smiles, um, making dreams come true, having you come along and have fun with us, I decided to contact the Brownies and Downies team. My mom was teaching a, a kid that with autism and I spoke to him and he told me about the Brownies and Downies and I met up with Wendy. I'm going to show you exactly what they do today and guess what? I'm taking some kids for a sale. We're going to put them on the sailboat, the kids, and I'm getting Ethan to come and help me and we're going to take them for a sail and I cannot wait to see what they think of it. I hope they're going to smile. Their smiles always inspire me to smile more and I just wanted to show, you know, a disability is just a disability. It doesn't matter what it is, you can still do great things. Um, I do understand there's different levels of disabilities and please note that this is not at all something of a psychological perspective or it's just to go and have fun and show kids a good time. So I hope you enjoy the sale with me. Let's go. Distribution Center has been involved with Brownies and Downies since its actual inception, which was February 2016. And we started off with the sponsoring of the actual students and the training thereof in store. And the idea was then later on and long term to facilitate the actual employment of them at retail. Finally, now they also have a job, you know, just like their parents and their sisters and brothers and everyone's going to work, now they're also going to work. Thanks to Spa, you know, giving them an opportunity. Just as it's a, an awesome opportunity for customers to come in and interact with the trainees and the educational point of that um, and the, the, the normalizing of, of intellectual disabilities in, in the workplace and in society, it's great for them as well because they can interact with people who they might not get a chance to interact with otherwise. Okay, 
Okay guys, I'm on my way. Um, Wendy just sent me a message and said, don't buy snacks. And I just bought so many snacks. Um, because we have, uh, I just bought them some water and stuff for, with the pizza they just ate. Okay, so guys, you're getting more snacks. Um, so I got my mom's cabriolet, so it's gonna be fun for them, and I can't wait. We're gonna go there to the VNA waterfront. They're gonna jump in the car with me. The parents are gonna come as well. They're gonna get an Uber, but I said I would like the kids in the car with me, rooftop down. Let's go to the sailboat. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go. I want seatbelt, boys, yeah. and you, because they're gonna start yelling at me. No, we don't. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Nick. Nick. And introduce yourself. I'm Faith. Faith and? Salim. Salim, what's up? What's up? You good? <laughs> yeah, <boy. laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's play some music. Okay. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Do you want to make some video? <laughs> We're going down to the sailboat and I'm, I'm uh, expecting some more guests. Just send them down the sailboat to Sensation. Okay, thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi there. See you later. Welcome, sir. Bye. Can you swim, sir? Yes, I can swim. Can you? Okay, I'm gonna have to have you help me okay. close the roof, okay? Okay. So there's the button. There. There we go. Keep keep pulling it. There we go. I'm so gonna get one. <laughs> Are you gonna get one? You should get yourself one. Really? Now where's the money? Here's a hat for you if you want one. It's a nice girly hat. <laughs> you guys see the seals? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. There she is. Where is she? This one with the stripes on it. Or oh, Ephem, what's up? Yes, there's a lot of wind out there, eh? There's like 17, 18 knots blood pumping. Lacquer though. What's going brother? How's How you doing? Oh, Lacquer man. Your kids hello, come hello, through? Hello, how are you? I'm Nini. Ethan. I'm Faith. Okay. Ethan, what's your name? Nick. Nick. Nice to meet you. Okay. Ethan. Okay, let me help you. Give me the snacks. Okay. Give me your hand. Ouchie. Whoopa! Good job! Good job! Ow! Nick, can you make it? I can. Just take one big step. There we go! Good job, buddy! Good Thanks. job! Alright, you guys, we have Ethan is here with us. He is a lifeguard and also a yacht master qualified captain. So, if anything happens, if a kid falls overboard, which we hope is not going to happen, uh, he is a very trained and very, very skilled lifeguard in the Cape Town waters. Um, I have also a sailboat on standby from the sailing school in Cape Town called Sailing Vessel Ingwe. I just spoke to him on the phone. They know about us. The, Passage planning has been done and the PFDs are ready and the boat's ready and there's lots of wind. So I think I've checked all the things that I needed to do. I'm pretty happy with the passage. It's not really a passage, it's just we're gonna go out and we're gonna come in. I checked the wind direction and I just want to make it as easy as a sail as possible. I don't want to heal the boat over too much or put the tow rails in the water. So I am excited. Okay, we have power. Let's oh, check the boat pumps. That's working. That's working. You can see the amps going up as well. Let's see if we have VHF. Yep. So you guys know the squelch button. You take it all the way to that sound. And just where it stops is where you want the squelch. So we'll be on channel 14. Uh, I also have another sailing school standing by knowing about the sail if anything goes wrong We can reach them on 14 and we'll go over to 71 We have we don't need our lights right now. We don't need cabin lights We just need to know that VHF is working. We need to know that the bulge pumps is working and that's it See it's like a little house down here. There's another bed That's nice. Nice, eh? And then you have a little kitchen called a galley. Yeah, it's a boat that's rocking, eh? Very nice. You like it? I do. Yeah. I love it. You do? I do. Do you think you'll be able to live on a sailboat? 
I think so. Because you have a bed. Okay. Another bed there. Okay. Then you have a little kitchen called a galley. Okay. You have couches here and a TV. Okay. Then you have another bed in front and you have a little toilet. Okay. And you have a vessel that can go anywhere around the world. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Yeah, I can get to sleep in this. Can you sleep on this? <laughs> I wouldn't sleep in this bed. You wouldn't? What do you mean? I'd just sleep here. You'd just sleep here. I just, well, Where would you sleep if you had to choose a berth? Bed. You sleep the back one? Yeah. It's called a quarter berth. Wow. Say quarter berth. No, quarter berth. Can you sleep yeah. anytime? No. <laughs> Anytime you want to go sleep, what time? What time I want to go sleep? Uh, I'm a grown up, so I can sleep whatever time I want. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, eh? <laughs> what time do you go to sleep? Anytime. Anytime? No, you're joking with me. I am. No, you're joking with me now. Uh, what I do? Uh, I sleep at nine. At nine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a decent time. Uh, nine to twelve, yeah. What time do you guys start work at Brownies and Downies? Six. Um, yes, we're over at six. Now, I heard something very nice about you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that you can't read, but you have memorized all the recipes and that you help in the morning with the recipes. Is that true? So you can't read at all, eh? But you can, you're so smart that you've got all the recipes. Tell me the stuff that you can make. I can make scones. No, you Mata. cannot. Yes. No, you cannot. Is she lying to me right no. now? No. Huh? No. Okay, scones. I can make an um, English yeah. breakfast. <gasps> so, what is the difference between an English and Afrikaans breakfast? Is it just the, the language you speak while you're cooking no, it? It's, <laughs> no, it's not. It's tomatoes yes. with mushrooms and it's two eggs and uh, bacon yeah. and, you fr and your sausage and your bread. That's the English breakfast. Now you're making me hungry. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this is Wendy. The first thing she says, like, do you sleep on this boat? <laughs> no, not this one. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. You. you guys don't mind the camera, eh? Oh, no. Go ahead. <laughs> if you want, yes, I think it's a good idea. Okay. Stormers. No, no, no. We have a global aim on track. No, no, no. We're going to be Hello, hello. How's it going, brother? How you doing? Good? Okay, you guys go down, we'll do a lack of briefing and then uh, we can go out for a sail. Guys, when we go out, you guys are going to swim with the sharks and he's going to rescue if anything happens, Woo! okay? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Salim. Salim? Yes. And what do you do? Oh, I listen to music. Okay, good. Mom. Hi, my name is Adi and I'm his mom. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Wendy and I'm the founder of Browns and Downies. So all these young adults work with <laughs> this is the us. boss. Yeah. I'm the boss, yes, <laughs> I'm the boss. He says I'm the boss, eh, Nick? Yeah, yeah. I'm the, the favorite boss. Yeah. 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 Who are you? Hi there, um, I'm Nick. Thanks, Nick. Ooh. And Dad? Hi, I'm Donald. I'm Fred's dad. Oh, this one with a big <laughs> smile. <laughs> the glitz smart one. And you, sir? I'm Lutfi, I'm son's brother. Cool. Well, guys, today we're going to go on a sail. Okay? This is really, this is a real sailboat. I live on one of these, and I've been traveling around the world for the last three years on my sailboat. I've been living on and off my sailboat, and I just decided I want to go see as many places around the world as possible. So, I bought myself a sailboat in the Caribbean, and I've been sailing, and I grew my hair long, and I started a YouTube channel recently called The Paperboat Project, which oh. is what you are going to be on. Oh, right. I studied psychology, and I worked with mentally disabled kids for a long time, and it's really my passion, and I really, really enjoy hanging with them. So, I put my sailing and my passion for kids together today, and I'm going to take you guys for a sail. Okay. Fantastic. Cool. Yes. So. Are you scared? I'm going to ask that Ethan. Anymore. Do a little bit of a safety briefing with you guys. He's a so, tall guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to open that so your head can stick out. Oh, that's a bit okay. better. <laughs> Alrighty, so has anyone here been on a sailboat before? No. Never. You'll hear myself and Stefan say a couple words. If you don't understand it, please feel free to ask us. We call the front of the boat the bow. On the right hand side is starboard. On the left is port. And at the back is the stern. Just watch out for this big pole over here. We call it the boom. If you're not careful and it hits you on the head and goes kaboom and you're in the water. We're going to give each of you guys one of these, it's called the PFD. It's a lot nicer than the ones that we had on our course. And once it's on you securely, you just pull it tight until it's tight. 
you'll feel over here, you wanna feel there? Feel it's hard. Mm -hmm. So there's a little CO2 canister that's inside uh, this life jacket. So as soon as you hit the water, there's a little um, pin that'll get uh, punched and the life jacket basically inflates straight away. Oh, okay. As well, there's also a whistle, there's some reflective gear, there's a light, so nice and easy to see if you don't go, if you go overboard, but it won't happen today. So, will you help him with the PFDs? Yeah, what did you say? Don't leave me hanging. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then okay. over the head. It's a lot. Yeah. There we go, and then this one over your head. This is the like that. Oh. Yeah, like that. And you pull it down. How's that? Oh, Don't pull on this, okay? Mm -hmm. If you do it, jump. It's, you're gonna fly in the air when you do that. Oh, oh. I won't pull it. <laughs> <laughs> your arms We're gonna raise the, the, the seals. See who's faster. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah, can we do that? Who do you think is faster? Us? No, I think I You think the seals are faster? No, I think they're faster. Us is faster, okay. okay. Let's see. The no. No? They're, they're, not. they're swimming here, yeah, we don't know. When you just attack the road, brother, please. Two, five, six, six, four! There we go, that's good. Is that too fast? I am too fast. Too fast? You took the sail out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked in the heck. Yeah. <laughs> just keep it you just keep it like that. Yeah, so that you're sailing. So you just keep a point in front of you like a big building and just try to stay on that building. Yeah, so, so look in front. So if you see that big it. ship there? Just try and steer towards that ship. So if you push it away from you, the boat's going to come to the side. If you pull it towards you, it's going to come to the left. Just like that. You're liking the hat I gave you? You're looking pretty in it. You enjoying it? Nice. Hey, we have a lot of sailboats out today. There's one, two, three, four, us five, another six. Lots of lack of wind out here today. And they're getting some sailing instruction from Ethan. Who's steering now? Nick. Good job, Nick. Nick, look here. Okay. Look at the look at the front of the boat. You can see where the nose goes when you're turning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I saw it. <laughs> oh, he's funny. Good. Nico, you're not scared, eh? Not Good. scared. No. Nick's a big boy, eh? You Salim, you're good. I'm alright. And you brother? I'm good. Okay, cool. I'm keeping it You're keeping it in! <laughs> you just keep it in, dude. Yeah, we don't want it outside, please. Okay, who wants to go for a swim? No, not me. Not you! What is in the water? What did we just see at the aquarium? Sharks! Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go in the water, eh? Nah. Nah. So Wendy uh, just took them to the Two Oceans Aquarium. Yes. And what did you guys do? You see, we saw the sharks, the stingrays, the jellyfish, oh, yes. uh, penguins. Oh, fun! fun. Everything. Oh, yeah. What else? Stop. Yes, uh, starfish. starfish. Oh, starfish. Yeah. Yes, as well. So after seeing the sharks, would you swim in this water? No. <laughs> So we have undecided. Salim, you ready to turn back? Yeah. You want to go back? No. <laughs> Wendy looks like the one that wants to go back the most. Do I want to go back the most? <laughs> yeah, do I want to go back the most? Okay. It's better. He says it's better. It's better. Okay, so we're going to tack the boat over. Um, I'll do the tack. Will you be on the tiller? Sweet. Tack in. Good job! Good job, guys! 
Okay, so we'll just make it nice and easy and control for you guys, okay? Boy, it's a lot smoother on a starboard tack, that's for sure. Is it? Are you safe, Ethan? No, no, it's left out there. Yeah, better, yeah, it's better than last week. Okay. Yeah. Good guys. Good guys, fun sale. You're holding on to mom. Uh, Why? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, the wind picked up 25, 27 knots of wind. I put the cameras down, I turned the boat around, we tacked over, we came back. There's a little bit of a green phase or two in the cockpit, but they're fine. Coming into port now, it was exactly what I wanted it to be. Some exhilaration, some fun. We're gonna dock the boat and we're gonna say goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this sail. It was amazing. To me, thanks for hanging out with us, man. Don't forget, you're awesome, man. Guys, look, now the mountain's completely covered with cloud. You can have four seasons in one day in Cape Town. It's crazy. The weatherman said that the wind was supposed to die down right now and it was supposed to be sun. Well, you're my witness, it's not. Yeah, I like it, everything looks good. Yeah, it's like it. Yeah, you can You were a rock star. You did so well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Paper Boat Project. I really enjoyed creating these films for you guys. But I would like to have your comments and your feedback in the sections below. Make sure that you like, subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I'm releasing a new episode. And from me, my friends, I'll see you next time right here on the Paper Boat Project. And remember, you're awesome, man.